Yo, what's up, baby? It's 40 from Urban Street 420. Today we're talking about cannabis, cannabis cigars, yo. So it just turns out that my buddy who sent me this shirt from River City Growing, check out a link in the description to his, he has a channel, he's got an Instagram, homeboy makes Fico for the vets. He's a good dude over in Virginia. Anyway, check him out. Tell him 40 sent you, baby. So uh, yeah, we're gonna make cannabis and Making this video, I, like I've been ready to make it for a few weeks, but the thing is, what I needed was one finished canagar, one that was ready to be rolled, and then also an empty mold, right? So let me show you on this camera what this is all about, right? So you get these molds, right? And let me open it up, right? When you open it up, this is exactly where the cannabis goes. And it ends up becoming very compressed, and you should leave it in there for at least 24 hours. However, after a couple hours, you could take it out. One of the drawbacks to taking it out early and not letting it sit in there and really tighten, I guess, uh, is that it's gonna burn faster if you take it out sooner. The longer you leave it in, the slower it's gonna burn. So technically, this, by the way, this is the small, this is the personal, and even though the, the, the personal looks bigger, right? The small is actually bigger. The small is three to five grams, and this is one and a half to three or something. Anyway, I'm, I may be misspeaking. I will leave it up at the top in text exactly what it is. So inside this actual uh, cigar container, right, I have a small canagar, right? So this small canagar I'm showing you on this camera here is, uh, it's very girthy, right? Not very long, but very girthy. And this has anywhere from three to five grams. I believe I'm right with the numbers, not 100% sure. I don't know why girthy makes me laugh. It's almost like Beavis and Butthead, yo. <laughs> anyway, so something like this, you could actually smoke for a couple hours, right? At least an hour straight. The thing is, when it goes out, what happens? You then, when you relight it, you're relighting some ash, and it, the, the, the flavor experience is not as nice as if you just keep smoking it through. Three to five grams, it doesn't become a sm like a cheap smoke, right? So these things, and then on top of it, I don't know how well you could see, let's show you on this camera right here. You could see that this, uh, the tip, the mouthpiece has been used before, right? I'm recycling the mouthpiece. I'm also recycling the, the, the toothpicks, right? And I'll show you what that's all about. You need the mouthpiece so that when you're hitting it, you're not uh, sucking directly on the canagar. And here's the thing, when you finish this, watch this in this camera. When I take this out, right, there's still roughly, I don't know, maybe uh, half a centimeter, no, maybe a centimeter or so that is inside of the mouthpiece. So that stuff, does it get smoked? It starts getting a little iffy when you get it down to the mouthpiece. So there's that. This is a luxury thing. I'm gonna share my, my thoughts at the end, but let's get going, let's make one, right? So right here inside this one, right? Actually, let's, let's fill up a mold first, right? Da, da, da. So the first thing that you wanna do when you fill a mold is you wanna take this toothpick, right? And the toothpick goes into this little hole in the bottom of the mold, right? And you press it flush, whoops, or you shoot it out the other side. <laughs> And what this is for is this toothpick is going to become the air, the, the, the breathe passage for when you're hitting it, that air can go through, it will allow you to hit it smooth, etc. I'm going to keep my finger right here because until we start packing it, uh, this thing was probably going to fall out. So I'm going to move my material, my flower, a little bit over to the side. We're going to put this thing right here. And this is the stuffer, right? I'm not going to talk during this because it takes a little while. I'm going to go ahead and stuff this. And when I'm finished, I'll talk about some of the challenges. All right, so when there's not a lot of room to press down anymore, right, then you're done. And now we're gonna leave this. Let me move this over. And by the way, you can clean the, the, the inside of the molds. You can clean these things with isopropyl alcohol. Make sure it dries completely before you use it again. And that's how you clean it, right? I'm gonna move this over to the side. And here's the thing. This is why we needed one that had already been sitting. This has been sitting for a week, I think. <laughs> but uh, so now we just put this somewhere and uh, we let it sit. And tomorrow, we could go ahead and roll this. Whether we do or not, I don't know. But the cool thing is you could leave it in there for a while, right? Like I said, this one has been left for a week. 
So here's a tip for the personal, right? The mouthpiece. And you can use natural hemp wraps, you can buy stuff from them, or you could just use blunt papers, right? Which is what I use, huh? In fact, I think I have a pair of scissors right here that we can use, <laughs> trimming scissors. And let's open this up, right? So when I open this up, look on this camera right here, right? Look at that beautiful uh, canagar right there, right? Now technically, you could smoke it even without a wrap, right? I've seen guys uh, do that. You can also dip this in, in uh, Keef. This is rolling glue uh, from the company Purple uh, Rose Supply. It's one of their ways to make extra money, just like these mouthpieces. These mouthpieces are not cheap. The, the glue is not that expensive, but, uh, and then the toothpicks, right? Now, I'm reusing the mouthpiece and the toothpicks because it's mainly just me who's smoking these. But um, obviously, if you're giving them to a friend or someone, then it's a, it, this is, this is a, uh, not disposable, but a, there's a word for this. I can't think of it, right? I'm not even that high. But uh, it's a perishable item. You use it once and then it's tossed, right? Unless they remember to give it back to you and you reuse it. So anyways, let's go ahead and use one of these hemp wraps. And... I'm gonna take them out right here. These are grape flavored hemp wraps. I'm gonna turn off the fan. I had a fan on me trying to keep me cool, but the thing is, is it's gonna cause issues. So we're gonna take the hemp wrap out, right? And inside the hemp wrap, mm, you could smell the grape, huh? We're gonna take out the tube that keeps this thing upright. And now we are gonna measure this to cut off excess, right? So, because this thing is much longer, there we go than it needs to be, right? So something like this, maybe even a little hair more, because it's actually okay if a little sticks out. So something like this, we'll move that over. Now I'm gonna pop this out. To do that, just touch the, the toothpick. It will come out, no problem. We're gonna close this up, clip it, move it out of the way. And this is, again, this is glue that when you, supposedly when you smoke, it doesn't give you any harm. And we're gonna use this to, to seal it, right? It works better than your tongue and spit, et cetera. And if you're selling these or you're, you're giving them to buddies or whatever, you're not giving them your saliva, you're giving them something a bit more sanitary, right? So for the, the, the personal, you can use one wrap like so, right? For the, you can use one wrap for the small also, but you're gonna cut it and you're gonna use the cut pieces to, because it doesn't fully cover, huh? Anyway, so I'm gonna roll this over like so. And this is kind of a twist motion, right? So we're gonna take the, the, the cap off, right? And as we twist, the glue will come down uh, the, to the tip and then we can brush this on, right? So we'll do that a few times, right? Now it's got glue right there. Let's find where we're supposed to put this. So maybe something like this. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna paint the glue on, right? All right, so something like that. Doesn't have to be totally perfect. We're gonna seal it right there, right? Now what I like to do is leave it for a little bit, uh, and we're not gonna do that because I'm making the video. I leave it for a little bit, and then I come over the outside with another band of glue, right? Just to make sure that this is really on there nice, clean. It's gonna take a little bit to dry, so we're gonna try to speed that up blowing on it, right? Normally I just leave it, I come back to it, huh? But because we're making the video, I want it to be done and I don't really have patience anyway. <laughs> Something like this, right? And now to pull this off, we're gonna have to pick a side that we're gonna pull from and let's uh, try not to be touching the glue while we do this. And let's see which side, it, oof. And I felt actually it, the, the cannabis separate inside. So let's see if we hold this right here. And what I'm trying to do, because the cannabis inside separated, so what I'm trying to do is hold this and pull. There it's starting to come, maybe because I've used this, <laughs> the toothpick more than once, huh? Uh, so now it's giving me problems because it's really sticking. Usually it doesn't do that, huh? I'm gonna use my, my mouth on the, the toothpick, huh? All right, there we go. 
pressing the cannabis back in that's starting to come out from the top. Now this actually has never happened to me before, but it's probably because I keep reusing this. huh? So I'm going to toss this one. I have more. I just, I don't want to buy them. If I could use them two, three times each, that would be better. And you could see like a little bit came out. No big deal. We'll just put it in our rolling tray right here and we could use it later for something else. So now, after we've done that, we can take the tip and we could choose what side we put this on and maybe we put the, it on the side that's not messy, right? That's a little bit held tighter together. And you may have to finagle it, huh? You may have to like uh, make sure that you're pinching the end just to get this on and something like this. Okay. So here we go, huh? This is the finished product. Now I'm gonna light this one instead of the one that was already ready, just so we could see this one smoke. Let me grab a torch real quick. I better not gain any weight with this shirt, huh? I haven't even washed it. It's already like form-fitted, baby. <laughs> so like, here's an example. Here's actually a, a mouthpiece from a can of guard that I was smoking. And look, we've got it to the end right here, right? But if we take this out, right, using this toothpick, we're gonna see Let's see if we can push it through like this. There we go. We'll see that we've wasted some, right? And because this is so uh, dense, I don't know exactly what this is we wasted. Is this a quarter gram? Is this a half gram? I don't know, huh? So there is uh, some of the waste. Now maybe we can recycle that if we want, but uh, I don't like the taste, so it is what it is. But I will save this and I will keep reusing this several times, huh? Until it tells me I should not, and I don't know when that will happen. We're gonna throw this one away and let's light this puppy up, baby. So when you light this, you wanna make sure that you hold the flame, get this going, just like a cigar, you know? A little bit different because I'm gonna let the, 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 the torch do most of the work in the beginning, right? I'm starting to sweat. Let's turn this fan back on, baby. It shouldn't be a problem with the torch, huh? So. I mean, I don't know. I've never smoked this with a fan pointed at me, right? But uh, this thing stays lit. You put it down just like a cigar, right? I mean, it hits super clean. You get the, the taste of the blunt wrap, right? It's fantastic, huh? So what are my thoughts? Number one, it smokes great. Uh, it's something to enjoy occasionally. Just like uh, I like to smoke out of, uh, you know, someone said, why would you ever make a banana pipe or an apple pipe or a gravity bong or whatever? There are far easier ways to smoke. But when you've been smoking for a long time, it's fun to switch it up, huh? I don't like always smoking a joint or always smoking out of a bong or always anything. I like to switch it up. Of course, I have my edibles. I smoke different ways. And this is something that I like to add into the rotation. It feels kind of like a luxury, right? Because uh, normally I wouldn't sit and burn through three grams, right? In one session. Anyways, I don't smoke this whole thing normally anyway. There's only one or two times that I've gone through a whole can of gar in one sitting, right? By myself. <laughs> but, you know, with friends, a lot easier to go through. But uh, anyway, so. I tried to get in touch with the owner of the company, and he wasn't very helpful in sending anything. So that's not why I have anything negative to say about the product. The only thing I'll say is that this is a luxury item, and I think it's fun to add into your rotation. Sometimes I don't like, uh, hopefully, maybe there's a way to buy these mouthpieces from somewhere else. If there were, that would be great because they're too expensive on the site. Also, these are stupid little toothpicks, right? Of course, they fit exactly the size of the mold, but these things shouldn't be more than $1 right, for the whole pack, but I think it's like five or eight, or I don't remember, huh? So that's a bit of a ripoff. For sure, these upsells are how this guy is making his money, and I'm not hating that he's making his money, I just feel like, okay, this is already expensive, right? And if you buy the natural, like this is a natural hemp wrap right here, and I guess we could have rolled it in that if you guys wanna see a video where I roll in this, but you have to hydrate this first, etc. and so that's why I didn't go this route, it takes a little bit more time, etc. 
before I go, <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a painter. And uh, this is in progress, huh? This is Pickle Rick, huh? It's on a pile of r dead rats with a spear, and a, a rat's head on the spear. It's not done yet, huh? So when you're looking, you're like, wait a second, it doesn't look finished. It's not. It still needs a little bit more uh, color and it needs detail, etc. And so anyways, if you guys want to check it out, my Instagram is instagram.com slash can't stop art gallery. That's my artwork if you're curious, huh? Anyways, guys, should you buy one of these? If you, I think if you have enough flour and you like treating yourself, right? Treat yourself, baby. <laughs> then yeah, why not? Because the smoke's fantastic. Look at it, it's still lit. I'll probably smoke this thing while I'm editing this video for, for an hour or whatever, and I won't even probably finish it. But anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. And if you like the shirt, go check out uh, uh, River City Growing. The details will be in the description. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. And yeah, and share the video with your friends, guys. Leave comments, do some stuff, you know. I would really appreciate it. Until next time, I got lost. I think I'm getting high, yeah. <laughs> Until next time, Papa, I'm out!